Hi, Jason. Hollis Farms this morning. Still got about, oh, probably close to an hour before daylight. Got some customers coming in today after lunch. I think it's just one customer, but anyway, I'm gonna go down here and sit in the shooting house for a little while, do a little hunting, a little scouting. May even take a nap, but thought we'd go look, see if we can see a little deer. It's kind of warm this morning, but they might move at daylight. We're gonna sit an hour or so, and then we'll come get our work done. I'll be back. I had more action this morning out of the Skeeters. About 75 degrees. Maybe my customer this afternoon have a little better luck. We're gonna go do a little work and we'll be back. Whew. Boy, I tell you what, it's warm today. I got my hunters out. Maybe they'll have some luck after a while. Sun gets a little lower. Maybe them old deer start moving. I'll be back. Keep you posted. Alright, so here's what's going on. Got a full moon. Yesterday it was about 80 degrees. Hunter saw quite a few deer, but never got anything in there close enough to get a shot. So, I carried this video on to the next morning. It's an hour or so after daylight. I already got him in the stand. And I'm just up here waiting. Playing with Rose. We'll see what happens. We'll be back. All right, we had quite a bit of wind and a lot of rain and stuff last night, so I'm around here on part of the place where I won't bother my hunter this morning, kind of checking the fence, getting a little, little few things done before he gets done and leaves today. Just try to get as much done as I can, but I'm finna turn the camera around, and if y'all remember one of the past videos where I was planting and I ended up had quite a bit of wheat and clover left and I no-tilled it around here, this stuff is looking good and i hadn't fertilized or anything i probably will later i got a little fertilizer left but i'm gonna turn y'all around and show you how this wheat and clover is looking where i just no-tilled i want y'all to look at this and it's gonna get better as the winter goes on look at all this clover that's all crimson clover Man, that's looking good. I'm proud of that. All right, I'll be back. All right, so my hunter just left. Hated it, but he didn't get one. 80 degrees, full moon. Just kind of gets that way sometime. It'll get better. All right, so here's what I'm about to do. About two days ago, I had a hunter come and brought his son they said they hit a deer, but we didn't find the arrow, didn't find blood, hair, or nothing. So I didn't know what was going on, but yesterday, I was slipping around and I saw a deer. He kind of had a hump in his back, and before he run off, I got my binoculars on him. And they had clipped his back somehow or another without breaking his backbone. But anyway, the deer looked pretty rough, wasn't wanting to run, but he did. I got tied up with customers, so what I got fixing to do now, I'm fixing to try to slip around and see if I can find him and get the deer finished off. I sure hate to see them like that, and every once in a while it happens, you know. As many as we go through, it's bound to happen. So that's what I'm fixing to do. I may try to film some if I can, but if I can't, I'll be back if I get it done. 
Alright, so here's what's going on. Oh, I just had to climb a big hill. I spotted him bedded down. He didn't see me. So I had to crawl up on him about 100 yards. I got a shot off in him. Pretty sure he's down. But I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this time I got and get a couple of dogs. I'm going to get Dodge and Mud Bud, put the collars on them, and do a little training. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I've got a good idea where the deer's at. I'm going to keep Mud Bud on a, on a leash. He hadn't done a whole lot of this. I don't want, he's more used to hog hunting right now and I don't want him to blow out of here. So let's see if we can do a little training. All right, so I see the deer. I'm on, it's not gonna be a lot of blood. So I'm gonna turn y'all around and show y'all the deer's up there a hundred yards or so. And I'm just gonna kind of ease mud bud up through there and see if it gets his wind and just give him an idea what we're doing that we're not trying to smell a hog today. We're trying to find a dead deer. So. I'm going to turn you all around and I'll be right back. Mud Bud's winding him, but he ain't seen him yet. I'm just going to kind of keep easing him. Here's right up here in front of us. I'm just going to kind of kind of keep easing him because it's not really a blood track to put him on. Cause sometimes when you're looking for them, you ain't gonna have a blood track. You just gotta smell deer. See him, see him winding. I'm just gonna let him ease into this. Dodge wanting to play. Come on, my boy. He's pulling on me now. He's failed him. Get him, my bud. Good boy. Good boy. See that spot back there? About to get infected. Pretty nasty. All right, I'll be right back. I usually won't put them on a leash, but I really don't want them around that old nasty infected part. I don't want nothing to happen to them. Dodge likes it. Mudbud, he's been on a few last year. Been on quite a few more hogs, but we better start trying to let him double duty. All right, we're gonna go get the trailer and get this thing out of here. I'll be back. All right, so here's what I want to do. I got. Mud bud up here tied to the truck right here where I clean them. He had never been around a lot of this, just mostly to the hog hunting woods, and these black mice are pretty goofy. So I got to make sure I let him spend more time around the people and the deer. You know, Dodge, he's at the right age. He can get it, and he'll be okay. Mud bud's about a year old. That's Rose's sister. I mean, Rose's full brother from the last litter, so... And as y'all can see, they're pretty shy and pretty goofy. They're kind of a one-man dog, but we're going to continue to work with him through the winter a lot. I believe he's going to do really good. He does real good trailing the hogs to be so young. And uh, like I said, I started him a little bit on the deer last year, but we're going to put him on a lot this year. So be right back. All right, y'all. Me and Rose about done had enough of this heat today. We're going to let these old sacks burn down. We're going to call it a day. If y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us. Hollis Farms. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.